Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We are proud to present our next speakers, Stacy Belanti and Brian McCall. Stacy is with Domo, and Brian is with Verizon. Please give them a warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, we're here to talk to you about our joint solution between Domo and Verizon and Amazon, so the asset tracking solution. So, um, oh, I forgot the. Sorry. So, um, you know, the term IoT data has been around for, for over 20 years. Um, and it, but the data has mainly been in the hands of operators, people that own and manage the devices. And, and, and what, what, now we have this proliferation of data, right? We have um, you know, the Amazon services and the databases and the way to get the data super fast and the networks to, to bring the data in on. And we really want to take that data and help you turn it into an operational asset, not just in the hands of, um, of the operators. And why is this important? So, IoT is um, IoT has been has been difficult, and projects have been failing. Um, about a third are even abandoned before they're fully deployed. And really, this is has to do with a problem with data management and analytics. And we want to. If you think about it, it's taking it, it's not living up to the promise of connecting the data to people and being able to get it in the hands so that they can, they can really do something with it. So it, it, it really just doesn't, we don't believe it needs to be this hard anymore. And so this is, this is a typical um, map or a diagram of, of an IoT project. We have the, um, you know, the devices, the connectivity to it, bringing in all of the other data, the KPIs, um, the, the dashboard, the machine learning that, that comes to say when do you need to alert and, and when, when do we need to pay attention to this data. So what we're really doing is trying to, trying to take all this and make it, make it a heck of a lot easier and make it, make it operational for you. Stacey. Oh, thank you. So when we look at, uh, you know, when we go out to our customers and start talking to people, I just want to highlight some of the different use cases that people are asking us about in the IoT world. So I kind of look at three major use cases. Asset tracking, so tracking, oh, you can't hear me now? Oh, oh there you go. Got to eat that microphone. All right, cool. Um, so we look at three major use cases. Um, asset management, which is tracking of high dollar assets or mission critical assets. I see condition-based monitoring. So that's using um, in sensors to measure environmental um, ambient environment, uh, like temperature, humidity, vibration, right, to predict, you know, obviously uh, machines that might need uh, maintenance before they have problems, predictive quality, and then in the insurance space, right? Third is kind of a combination of the two, which is cold chain. So in pharmaceutical industry, food safety, being able to understand exactly where your um, products are, making sure they arrive on time within the regulations, as well as uh, never see any kind of extreme environmental conditions. So as Stacy was alluding to earlier, it's not easy to build out an end-to-end -end solution. So what we did here was partnered between Verizon, AWS, uh, and Domo to be, provide this out-of-the-box solution for asset management. So where do we all play here? Um, you know, Verizon provides the critical asset sensor, which provides geolocation data and environmental sensor data. Uh, we stream it to our ThinkSpace platform, which is our, I'm oh, sorry, we stream it over our CADM network. So this device is CADM1. Uh, Verizon has a CADM1 network as well as an NBIoT network uh, nationwide. Uh, that data is streamed up to our ThingSpace platform, which is our device management platform. And with this partnership, what we did here was create an API that allows us to stream the data from our network directly into AWS's IoT services um, using a, a HTTP, HTTPS uh, pipeline. And what's great about this is it makes it very easy for a, a company like um, Domo to very quickly build an application like an asset management application uh, and stream that IoT data directly into the application that's built on top of AWS. 
So a little bit more detail about the critical asset sensor. Uh, it is a product that's on sale today. Um, we sell it as a, um, in an OPEX model where you can get the sensor, all the connectivity you need, and then access to the APIs to stream your data to uh, AWS Cloud, um, all for one uh, monthly charge. And just a little bit more detail on the sensor itself. Packed full of uh, uh, sensors here. So we have temperature, pressure, humidity, a light sensor. Um, and then we have a gyroscope, which provides tilt. And then an accelerometer, which gives you shock, vibration. Uh, and then we have GPS. GPS is the um, location. And then what we do is if you fall in an area where you can't get GPS coverage, we have cell ID, which is a backup. So you get course location, but you definitely get your dot on the map. You never lose track of your asset. And I'll hand it back over to Stacey. So yeah, so, so going back to the data, right? So in, in getting the data into the hands of, of people that can actually use it. So these IoT projects that are failing um, and, and not, not kind of living up to the promise is, is, is thinking about, you know, Geez, I just forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. So getting the Domo has more connectors than any other company. So over a thousand um, pre-built connectors, more IoT connectors than anybody. And in addition to getting the data and combining the data together, we have the ability to write back and to, to push data out to devices. So if you think about a scenario where maybe a machine is overheating and you get an alert that it's overheating, the ability to, be, to act on that and to, to write back to maybe slow the machine down or stop the machine. So, so going back to the problems that, that in, in the IoT projects that are failing is the data is not getting in the hands of people that can interact with it. Maybe you have a report, maybe you have a dashboard, but is it, is, is it being delivered in a way that you can interact with it in a meaningful way? There we go. So uh, a real world example. So we had a, a client that, that um, had thousands of lease trailers. And so knowing where they all were, being able to find them, being able to you know, see you know, which ones from the lease that were coming up on the lease and being able to quickly track them. So really being able to manage this fleet and use that data in a, in a meaningful way. So, so, so we set out to solve this problem and, with Verizon. And so in doing that, you know, you think about combining the data from the device in your mobile environment, but then combining it with other data. So not only can I, can I find the trucks and see, see where they all are on my lot, but I know what's in them. I know the dollar value. I know the date of when they're supposed to, to get places. I know the weather that could be overlaid to, to tell me, you know, why something might be delayed or if something's going to be delayed so I can provide better customer service on the front end as well. So combining the data as well as um, the device data. So and again, going back to, to really being able to use the data and the difference is, you know, Domo can do the graphs and charts, a lot, of, a lot of people can do that. But we have custom UI and custom apps that we can build that really, really help you use the, the data in a meaningful way. So, and, and what that really means is different personas. Different personas have to see that data and, and want to see that data in different ways. So, you know, maybe, you know, in this instance, the site manager has to be able to pinpoint certain trucks, certain locations, and be able to, you know, enter the number for it and go directly to it. Whereas the operations manager wants to see all of them, wants to see all thousands of them where they are and all of the status on that at, at the same time. So it's really being able to provide these different levels of visualizations to really kind of bring that IoT data to life. Again, more examples of putting it. So the location tracking, just solving, solving the business problems with that data, real-time alerts so that you know, if something's going out of a geofence, you're notified of it. Thank you. I guess you don't need that. And I guess to close out with, you know, this application is available today. You can buy it through uh, the AWS Marketplace. So it's the Domo Asset Tracking application. Um, and we do offer free trials. So if you have a use case, um, you know, follow through through the AWS Marketplace. And we can definitely work on uh, providing you a free pilot. All right. That's all. Thank you.